watching Good Day Toledo's most local 9 a.m. show. Yes, it's time to get proper, Tatiana. Mm. Sitting up straight, legs crossed at the ankles, hands gently in your lap. Like a lady. Yes, but why? Well, it's time for a traditional Regency Christmas tea. Doris Piercefield from the Museum of Fulton County leads us through it. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. being here today. Thank you for having me. So let's start with your attire. Oh, yes. Yes, well, uh, this is going to be a Regency Christmas tea party. Um, so anyone that would like to dress in the Regency costume, they're more than welcome to. And if they don't want to, they can come in whatever they want to wear. But I thought I would dress that would kind of give people an idea of what Regency time period is. Yes, yeah, so Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Yes. Thought, yes. yes. Bridgerton. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very popular right now. So it is. It why, is. Why did you all decide to do this? Well, one, one reason, of course, this is going to be a fundraiser for our museum. And so because it is really popular right now. But we were able to name our tea party. It's called the Vista Phillips. Uh, Regency Tea Party, and the reason is that Vista Phillips actually lived in Fulton County during the Regency time period. Um, she was married in 1828, uh, in the state of New York on Christmas Day. Oh, so we hey. thought this is kind of a celebration of her wedding day. Mm -hmm. um, is she, they moved to, her and her husband Elias moved to Michigan, Adrian, Michigan, right after they got married. Naturally. And then they bought property in what was at that time called the Toledo Disputed Strip. And they built a hotel there. Um, and that hotel housed travelers that would take the Indian Trail from the east to the west. Mm -hmm. um, and then later on, that area became a small village which was called Phillips Corners mm -hmm. and that was actually the site of the Ohio Michigan Toledo War mm -hmm. in 1835. Wow. So it kind of has a lot of historic so much value. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and so that's why we chose that time period and also we named it after Vista Phillips. There you go. Makes a whole yeah. lot of sense. So you brought a tea party to yes. us. I brought, I brought, <laughs> we're going to be serving an afternoon tea for our tea party, which is a three course tea. It starts out with scones and then it has finger sandwiches and desserts. Ooh. Now, because of our time limit, I just brought you the very <laughs> the first and most important part of the tea are yes. the scones because the they're scones. delicious. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're having as an afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. And so for today, we're going to have scones for you to try Okay. and I'm going to serve you tea. So it's actually proper for me to serve you tea for First. Okay. So if you would like to pass your cup to me, okay. we're going to we be. We want to make sure we do this all. The that's proper, right. right. That's proper, right. Proper. So when you're adding things to your tea, you should put those in the cup before you add the tea. Okay. So I'm right. going to ask you, and I am playing the role of mother. So whoever prepares the cup of tea is the role of mother for that tea party. Aww. So I shall ask you, would you like sugar or milk in your tea? Both, please. Okay. Now, <laughs> notice I said milk and not cream. cream. Yes. Because cream is too heavy for tea. Mm -hmm. And so we don't want to use cream, but we do want to use milk. So that's that a little spoon. Isn't that little adorable? Isn't that adorable? I'm going to give you a few there. Okay. Thank you. And then we're going to be having, and this is what we're serving at the tea party. This is a cinnamon um, Christmas tea. Oh, it yes. sounds delightful. Okay. I might Just have got delightful. a little too much milk in there for you, but that's Add okay. Dust. There you go. Many thank you. And your tea, what would you like in yours? Just sugar, please. Just sugar, okay. And I can't <laughs> do the pee, and I'll wait. <laughs> you have to, yes. So, well, and I imagine when you put the sugar in the milk in first, that kind of sir, stirs it for you. It does, it does. It allows it just to uh, make those ingredients start from the bottom and mm -hmm. work up then. And there is yours. Lovely. Now, also with our scones, mm -hmm. you see that we have marmalade and we have clotted cream. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we have this the, the scone here that is plain, that is called a cream scone. And if you see a scone like that one that has fruit in it, that's called a spotted dog. Ooh, well, it looks oh, delicious. Yes. Then. And then these are pumpkin scones. Oh, so yum. typically with a cream scone, you will use your clotted cream and your jam on your scone. Some people cut them open and do them open face. Some people put the ingredients right on the top. Either one is is it's proper. proper. Okay. Now, there is a lot of controversy in England about whether you do the clotted cream first and then the jam or the jam and the clotted cream. Oh, boy. Now, if you're from Devonshire, which is where clotted cream comes from. Mm -hmm. You, of course, put the clotted cream first. First, <laughs> but I am going to leave it up to you to okay, decide okay. which one that you would like to try. Well, the, uh, the, the, the spotted dog looks good right? to me. Yes, and you may use your fingers. Okay, these are, no, these that are, was my next question. These are is finger this foods. Yes, is this yes, they certainly are. They are finger foods, and I really only gave you the utensils to cut it and to put on your jam and okay. jelly. Yes. Okay. okay. 
So you going to do the jam and jelly? I'm going to do the jam and jelly. I'm going to be scandalous, and I'm going to be from Devonshire, and I'm taking the, the cream, cream first. first. Behold, yes. yes. Mm. Mm. And that's delightful. That's, isn't that wonderful? I'm eating with my mouth full. One, of our, one of our lovely volunteers um, volunteered to bake these for us mm. to have for today. So, she did lovely. <laughs> Good job. So and is it okay to do the pinky or no? Absolutely. I can Absolutely. do the pinky after all. Yes, Ooh, you sure. Cinnamon is so very we are nice. we are not. No? Yeah. You can. You certainly can. We can. Mm -hmm. pinky so up. someone needs to get a ticket for this. Yes, yes. We are doing uh, reservations right now. The tickets are $30, as you can oh, wow. see. That's it, very reasonable. And it also includes your admission into the museum that day because oh. this tea party is going to be held in the lobby of the Museum of Fulton County. Uh, it will be all decorated up for Christmas. Um, and it'll, it'll be at noon. It? Yes, and mm -hmm. it's just a beautiful facility. Mm -hmm. If you've never been there, I mean, it's so, so gorgeous and such a lovely place mm -hmm. to have an event like this. Um, noon, it'll be starting at noon on November the 30th. Tickets are $30. You can get them by going to our website, which is very easy, museumoffultoncounty.org. Mm -hmm. Or you can call, if you need to call, 419-337-7922. Uh, um, either way is great, but we would love to have every Everyone come out and enjoy a tea party. We're going to have live music that day, Christmas oh, nice. music. I'm going to be giving more history about Vista Phillips mm -hmm. that day. Um, all kinds of neat things. And like I said, the museum will actually be open mm -hmm. for anyone that wants to go in there. I say, I, call your mom and bring her with yes, you. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mom, daughters, mm -hmm. sisters, mm -hmm. anyone. Uh, we also have in the gift shop, I have all kinds of new, beautiful tea-related items that maybe someone Some might want to pick up for a gift for Christmas. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, yes. This was lovely. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much Many for coming. Thank you, madam. <laughs> You're very welcome. I was more than happy to be here today. Wonderful. Well, stay with us. We'll be right back and take another bite. I'm going to be lady. <laughs>